So part four came a little early and that is thanks to thermal take. So we were waiting on the graphics card blocks to get here from Alpha Cool. They've had some issues. They were moving warehouses and a bunch of other crap going on. So uh, I went ahead and reached out to thermal take and uh, Jack over at thermal take said that he could send these over overnight. They sent these via UPS. They sent them 5 p.m. yesterday and uh, we have them now. These are beautiful thermal take water blocks for reference, uh, reference PCB GTX 1080s of which our EVGA cards are using. Uh, we have two of them. We also have an SLI bridge here if we want to use that, uh, but we, we might not. Uh, but these are just gorgeous. I actually think these look better than the Alpha Cool blocks, uh, just being that they're, you can see through them and you know, the intricacy here is beyond belief. I love the way they look. So we're going to put these on, we're going to install these, and then uh, we're going to run the tubes and should be good to go with uh, starting up Blue Sky for the first time, running some leak tests. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and start assembling the water blocks. I'll also do a review of the PCO11 for those interested. That'll be up after we actually finish assembling Project Blue Sky. Uh, th this case is, I mean, it has a lot of space in it. I think it's very strategically laid out. It is on the expensive side, but you get what you pay for. Tempered glass, uh, aluminum steel construction, and obviously plenty of room for uh, custom loop like this one. There's one GTX 1080. It is extremely dirty in here right now. All right, and there's our second GTX 1080. So uh, now we're gonna have to pull off the ACX cooler here and install that acrylic, I think it's acrylic, that acrylic block on the PCB. So you know what we're doing here, right? No. You don't? <laughs> Are you wondering where this is gonna go? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so this, this ACX cooler here, there's a bunch of uh, fins and they're fans here. So the fins uh, basically conduct the heat generated from the GPU, the VRMs, uh, VRAM, stuff like that. And then these fans help dissipate that heat from those fins. We're taking off this entire thing down to just the circuit board, which is this lighter color strip here. And then we're gonna smack this block like right where the cooler, the air cooler is now. Ooh, there we go. See that? Now the thermal pads here gave this back plate a bit of function, so it helped uh, absorb a bit of the heat. Okay, so you can see here, this is the GTX 1080 reference PCB down to uh, just the bare board here. And next comes thermal take water block installation.
Okay, so kind of at the halfway point here for part four. See, I've got the uh, the tubes running from the reservoir to the GPU block, and uh, another bend running from here to the CPU block. Everything else was pretty much good to go beforehand. I did redo this bend, uh, and I also did this bend over again as well. So that one's much smoother, as are these, uh, I don't know, kind of like 30 degree bends up top. So I'm gonna double check everything, make sure that the fittings are on secure, everything is just good to go that I can see uh, up front, and then I'm gonna add some coolant. Now, I, I was I was really debating going with something opaque like this, or going with the stuff I showed uh, in the last video, in this video right here, the UV coolant. Uh, th this I think is gonna match better, but it's not going to look as crystal-y. You know, this is supposed to be like crystal meth. That's what Blue Sky is named after in uh, Breaking Bad. The Blue Sky was the street name for the methamphetamine that Heisenberg cooked. But I think, I think for aesthetic purposes, I'm going to go with the opaque coolant. I, I think it's just going to be a better choice in terms of what it's going to match. It's kind of a good blend between uh, the CPU block up top and uh, the light blue cables and uh, the, the graphics card back plates. So uh, that's what I'm gonna go with. And this, you know, this is just something that I think will pay off in the long run. Worst case, I'll flush the, the fluid out and I'll, I'll replace it later on. Uh, but I, I think this is gonna be the better bet. So now all I have to do, instead of lining UV strips, I'll just line uh, probably just a single white LED strip going down this little corner post here, and uh, that'll be it. Worst case, I'll add another one up top if it's too dim, uh, but I want kind of like a, a minimalist lighting perspective, uh, being that this will be the corner that'll be closest to me, which will be equivalently right here. Uh, I think it'll be cool just to kind of see how the light spreads out over the case. So I'm gonna turn the PC around for a bit. I'm gonna kind of wire, I got a fan hub here, I'm gonna wire all these fans for the radiators up make sure everything else is good to go, and then we will add the coolant, and I'll try to get as much slow-mo footage as possible because I know that's what you folks are looking forward to.
Okay, so it's like 2.45 a.m. I'm talking with my man Tony over there on the PC. Say hi, Tony. Hey, what's up? Oh, that's Tony. So, we've been kind of conversing about this, uh, this custom loop here. Of course, you just saw the leak that we had with this fitting right here. Uh, and then on top of that, once that was finished, and Tony can be my witness here, the power supply stopped working. Just out of nowhere, I was kind of switching it on and off, getting the pump uh, to cycle through the fluid, and I turned it on once, uh, and the pump wouldn't turn on. I thought it was just a bad cable or something, swapped it out. Still nothing. So then I bring over the test bench, the Thermaltake test bench, and uh, this is a, I think an 800, 850 watt RGB, 80 plus gold power supply. This thing works perfect, and the pump is on right now. You see the fluid's a uh, draining through the loop. So we just had a 1000 watt P2 power supply from EVGA die on us. I think I'm going to call it quits. This is still going to be the end of part 4 and the end of the series of, of the Blue Sky build. Part 4 Project Blue Sky did not end the way I thought it would, but uh, I mean she's, she's finished. She's just not looking pretty right now. It's like a car without paint, basically. Or without, nah, it's like a car without wheels, tires. That's more like it. This is Salazar Studio. I'm going to sleep. Thanks for uh, building with us. I think we'll go with that one.